welcome back to another Minecraft video, guys. And if you like this, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe. Don't ask why I have a girl skin on, as you can see. But, um, I just like the front of the skin. I make my own skin, though, guys. So, yeah, make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and just got sticky keys. Um, no. Okay, resume. So, I'm, today, I'm showing you guys, if you have not already saw what's behind me, how to make a modern beach house. Um, so yeah, just make sure to stay tuned throughout this whole video, and today I'm teaching you how to make the first layer. The second layer will be in part two, and the interior will be in part three. There is a working elevator inside, so let's just go on, um, game mode. I'm just gonna go on adventure mode, and show you around. So, you walk in, you have, um, your nice little cabana with your, um, tropical fish. Cool, this is what I'll be teaching you how to make. Um, your lighted up stained glass light, your walkway inside. Then you have your armor stand waiting to greet you with your armor, as you can see. And you have your air vents on top. If you come over here, you have your elevator, which I'll be showing you after. You have a carpet, which is double. You have a bathroom with a blue toilet or water sink. And you have your living room. Um, you have more air vents all around, you have some windows, and you come up to the second floor. You have a secret hidden chest area with your books. You have your little area above your elevator. You have light, um, and you have a bedroom with a bunk bed with a desk underneath, bed on top. And you have your um, funny little paper thing. See, I just like this this my favorite one is you guys got to comment this down below who's the best youtuber why is it me why do you like me so much and did you subscribe so yeah guys um so i hope you are gonna like this build and yeah this is tutorial episode two so let's get started um window oh i didn't mean to do that um slash game mode crit okay so then we're in crit let's just do day lock let's get some day in here um um we're just gonna you gotta find some beach spots so we're gonna come over here and you're gonna just fill that up with sand so just get yourself some sand um as you can see you're just gonna want to fill up this area but I don't think it matters that much, guys. Um, you don't have to spend time doing that because what this build will bring. So you're going to need some white concrete to start. And so you grab that. And for your builds, you're going to need, I don't know, um, you're going to need a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. By one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna need eleven by ten building area. So first, you're gonna want to go just with the start of eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think that's eleven. It doesn't matter about the size. It will just affect how much room you have. So then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, and you're just going to go across and connect these. Um, see, about this water, like I was telling you, if there is water in the way, I'm just going to fill that up. And also, I will put the seed in the description for this map. Um, so, if you want to find this, and you can see the coordinates right up there. It's 1064, 64, and 641, if you want to come to this area or over there. So then you can just break this right here. You guys don't need that. Um, and then you have the size of your house, which is pretty small, but you can make it work. It's nice because you don't need a much room to build this. So from this side, you're gonna want to just fill in the whole bottom, actually. That's what you're gonna wanna do first, uh, just with your build. You're gonna want the whole bottom filled in um, because it's gonna be a step up and it gives a good outside look when it's a step up. So once we have that filled in, um, it might take around a minute to fill in your whole floor of the size of a build. Depends what device you're on and how quick you are and how much experience of Minecraft of you have. 
And guys, thank you for checking out this video and learning how to make a modern beach house. Okay, so once you have that, you have the corners cut out because it gives it a good design later on that you will see. Okay, so then you're gonna want your door. Obviously, there's no room over here. You're gonna want where it's the most room. Um, this may affect your build, but um, builds always can transform. So then you're just gonna want some quartz stairs. We're not using quartz, so it has a little different texture, but that'll bring you up to here. Then you're gonna wanna just go up three, across two, up three. And you have your doorway, which will bring you into here. Then for your carpet, you should use um a blue because it gives it more of the beach feel. So you can use cyan, you can use light blue or blue carpet. Um, but this is gonna be the size of your front room. So you just wanna go from here, one, two, three, four, five. Um, then you're gonna wanna go from this, skip the corner, one, two, three. Just go like that, so you have four, and you're gonna bring it down like that. And that's the size of your front room. Then you can do like a pattern like that if you want. I'm gonna give it more like of a darker feel back here with the cyan, and go in with the blue all the rest of the way, and then in the, get in this corner. See, like that gives it a cool feel. Um, your doors will be right here, so you don't need to place any there. But next, you're gonna want um, a st armor stand. So just look up stand, and now they'll bring you the, to the armor stand. As you can see, most items you can't place on here, or it goes off. But armor stands, they can't fly. So if you just cl click it right there, it will drop, and you're gonna want it right here, facing inward diagonally. Or you can do it however you want. Um, I'm gonna do it like that though. But any formation works of that. So next. You're going to want to break yourself and exit right here, going like that. But you're going to want to fill that in right there so you can break that, come across, and then see you have your little walkway to this area. Which then you, from one book ahead, you're going to go one, two, three, four, and just bring it down. But that's not going to give you enough room, actually. Okay, you're gonna wanna go like this actually, bring it down. You're gonna go four from here. There you go. You have this little corner area. Then from this side, you're going to want to open it three wide, making this area a little, you can make a little closet right there, which will add good detail. So you're just gonna bring that up to the door and see there, you can just go like that. Next, you're going to want to um, so you have that, so you're going to want to go up from three, or two, high, it depends how much you want. I'm going to go like that, break it in the middle, and go like that, so then you have a cool little archway. So next, you're going to place this all around the edge, up to here. Um, this will bring you to right here, which where this will be your bathroom, so you're going to go like that. And you have your basic bathroom area, as you can see. Then over here, you're going to have your living slash family room. Um, so it's not really enough room for it, which I'm going to show you how to fix. But right now, so you have this like open hallway. You can place some bookshelves right here. That's what I'm going to do. Or you can get some doors, actually. Um, and if you just stand up right here face down place your door right there and there you have a little looking like a closet which it has nothing inside unless you want to place like an item frame with something on it or you could possibly even place an armor stand inside but no it doesn't fit but if you want it bigger you could so then you're going to want um a blue carpet going all the way across like an l shape from here to here and all the way to down here see there you go you have your little carpet right there and right here i'm going to place this in front of this um should sure do like blue over there and then for the rest you're going to want the cyan um carpet to fill in all of that um see there you go you have your nice design this will be your bathroom so you don't need to fill that in but you will want to place down a door and of course make it that. I use this door because it gives it most of the, it matches its feel. This will be the size of your bathroom. It's not quite that big, but 
you will do. So then, see, you have this 9 by 9 you have a 3 by 3 area, which gives you 9 blocks. But you're going to want to break all that carpet and dig down one. Which will bring you to sand, if you can see. You're going to want to just dig down one more and fill that in so you have good grass um, feel right there. And then, you're going to want to place down court stairs as your couch all around here. Also, it's a stair it doubles as a stairway up. But if you don't feel like that's enough room, you can also go one more for your uh, living area or your family's room. It is a small one because this is more like a one person house or you can, you know, not a lot of people should live in this house. So then you're going to fill this, <coughs> excuse me, I'm with blue um, carpet and then you have this. You're going to want a TV here. so. You're gonna just cut out this little area. Then you're gonna get yourself some black concrete, and not powdered concrete, and you're going to fill that in. As you can see, that gives you um, like a TV that is off. If you want it on, you may add um, a painting, which adds like it's on. See if we grab a painting, and we go there. But sometimes, as you can see, it goes that big, and if you don't want it that big, you're just going to place that there, I mean, on these sides, and that'll give you a 2x2 two two painting size, and I'm just going to use this one because it's in your Halloween, guys. Um, so there we have it. Um, then on this side, you can see that you have that black, which affects with your elevator area. So since you have the painting on it, um, you can break that, but if you don't have the painting on it, guys, you're just gonna want to go like this, and it gives it more like it matches, which I actually think I'm gonna do because I want more multiple colors in the beach house. Uh, so we're going to go build up on that, uh, and place down a painting. Oh, wow, that didn't work. Um, my bad for taking this time. Um, boom, and you have a painting there. And one is a karate one, it looks like. And there you go, you have your elevator feel. Then you have this little area. So basically, actually, you have your house right now. And you're going to give it to some windows. So you're going to do give itself, or you can just get some windows yourself. But I'm going to get glass. And you can use any color glass. But actually I'm going to use stained glass um we're going to use a uh, light blue just so you can get more of the feel of a uh, beach house so right behind this you're going to want to go one two three and you're going to go up two of that place white concrete over and top of that I'm right here so it looks connected you're going to one two three and up and then finally finish that off right there and as you can see in the family room you have your little light area then right here you're going to want to go one two space one two space one two and fill the middles with um stairs so you're going first one's going to be this way and then the other one is going to be upside down um and there it gives it kind of a um 3d feel once you have that so then you're gonna go up here and then for windows down this hallway I normally just do one huge long window um then you can just place the white concrete on top of this and then you're going to see I keep this one open so it gives it more of a 3d feel also but first you're going to want to go place some light blue stained glass right there build up over top and but you're going to want to go one two three and four you can't so three gives it more of the 3d feel once you have that guys you're going to go over here you're going to go one in one two three one two and there you go you're going to build that up cover it and go down of course and there you go you have the basics of your walls and you can go any height as you want but you don't have to go any higher before we start adding light. But the windows do give in a lot of sunlight, which is really nice in this house. But 
basically in the bathroom you're going to place down a cauldron um you're gonna need water you're gonna need these stairs by the way court stairs water um a trap door a birch trap door and that's um also you're gonna want some light blue dye um, you will see later on so this is basically the last steps of the first episode so you're just gonna place some cauldron down with a water bucket fill that with light blue dye for your toilet and then you can place this down oh don't do that um, you're going to want to um, just inside then you're gonna fill it with light blue dye which gives it the more of a toilet feel uh, oh, I keep doing that guys I'm so sorry um, you're gonna fill that and then on top you're going to want to place this for like a toilet seat next um for your sink you can do it next to it um but first you're gonna have to go it this way then you're gonna fill it with um water clean quickly so you can break place and you have your sink and there you go guys that is it for the first layer guys and if you like this make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe guys have a wonderful day savage gamer underscore exe peace out